guys, this is the Frigid model SD10 pivot floor fan. Um, now this fan has a bit of a sad story behind it. Um, this was found at the ReStore, which is where I find most of my fans these days. Um, and it was found in the scrap. So this fan was about to get thrown away, but I saved it. So I feel kind of good about that. Um, now. I've never seen one of these things in person, so I didn't really know what to expect from it. Um, and despite being thrown away, it's still in really good condition. Um, so, hang on. The front grill here is plastic, and none of the rungs are broken. It still has its original rubber handle up here. Very nice to see. Um, the stand is chromed. And the chroming on it is pretty in pretty good condition. It's pitted in some places. There's some rust showing on the the brackets a little bit, but it's other than that, it's in pretty good condition. And there's three little rubber or not rubber, but I guess like I I don't know what those are, but they're like what you see in I think they're like resin or something. The three feet there are still intact. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it has the frigid label in the middle. It's a little bit torn up around the edges, but it's still in okay shape. Um, and it says Brooklyn, New York, and then I'm guessing that's a zip code, 11286. Um, the model number tag is actually on the bottom here. And it's a little bit, it's like half torn off, but I know the model number because I looked it up online. Um, cat number SD, and then it would be SD10. Um, Frigid Incorporated, Brooklyn, New York. Point, it's rated for 0.47 amps at 115 volts AC. So, turn it to the side so you can see it. Now, the thing is a little bit wider than my shelf, so I have to hold it. But you can see it's got this nice rounded, uh, painted uh, enameled uh, ring here that houses the blades. Um, and the paint is in still in pretty good shape. So, and then on the back, if I can turn it around, you can see the motor housing right here, the switch, which is a circle F switch, it's a rotary switch, and the back grill, which is metal. So, yeah. Now, this cord is original, and I will show you the plug. has a very old molded plug. Let me just move the camera. There's the plug. It is got a man does it have a manufacturer on it? It does not have a manufacturer on the plug, so Frigid could have made this plug. Plug it back in. Okay. Now this fan has a Fasco motor in it. But the motor is labeled frigid, so that's pretty interesting. All right, turn it back around. Make sure you're in the middle. Now it's a single speed fan. It's only got one speed. Um, so yeah, turn it on. Powerful little thing. Really quiet too, I like it. Hook it there. Okay. Now we'll spin down. doesn't have the best of spin down times, but it's still pretty good. Um, when I got it, it was much worse. I did oil it and clean it and everything. When I got it, it was pretty dirty when I got it, and yeah. So, I'm going to take the camera off here. 
and I'm going to go around to the back of the fan and see if I can show you the startup sound that it makes. It makes a really cool startup sound. Oh, turn the switch the wrong way. Kind of like an alternate, alternating high-low, high-low tone. It's really cool. All right, spin it down. So now you can see a good view of the motor right there. Like I said, Fasco motor. The aluminum blade set. The motor housing, which has a bit of staining on the back. The switch, and you can see it's upside down, but maybe if I turn it a few, there it is. If you look really closely, right there, you can see the Circle F logo. The Circle F switch. There you can see it. All right, here's the stand. And the handle. Close up of the frigid label on the front. And the sort of half missing model tag on the bottom. So that's it for this video. Quick little video of this cool little fan. Um, it's the frigid SD10 pivot floor fan. Thank you for watching and more to come.